is Leslie Gibbs and I'm the author of Searching for Cicadas, illustrated by Judy Watson and published by Walker Books Australia. I'm absolutely delighted to accept this award from the Royal Zoological Society of New South Wales, a Whitley Award for Best Children's Story. And I accept this on behalf of a huge team of people that all came together to produce this beautiful book. Not only myself, but the illustrator Judy Watson and a huge creative team at Walker Books. Many thanks to uh, Lindsay Knight, the publisher, to the commissioning editor, Sue Whiting, and to um, editor Nicholas Santilli. Thank you so much for all the work you've done on creating this wonderful book. So what is uh, Searching for Cicadas about? Well, of course, yes, it's about cicadas, and it's about the natural world. But most importantly, it's about a story about a grandfather passing down his love of nature, his love of cicadas, to a grandchild. The unique thing about searching for cicadas is that it is a narrative non-fiction, which means it's a combination of a narrative story um, with facts about the animal. And it's part of a very special series of books that Walker Books put out. It's called the Nature Storybook Series. So let me show you inside. I'll show you some gorgeous illustrations. And you can see the grandfather here and the grandchild. And there they are watching the cicadas come out of their casings in the summertime. Now I had to do a lot of research on cicadas, lots of facts. My favourite fact um, that I found was that the cicadas actually crease their ears so they are not deafened by their own sound. I thought that was fantastic and that's a fact that's featured in the book. But I was inspired by my grandmother's garden here in Sydney in Roseville in summertime when I was a child. And we'd have these wonderful afternoon teas with my grandmother in the backyard underneath her jacaranda tree and the cicadas would buzz and whiz around us. And my father and my grandmother would point out the different cicadas, tell me their unique names and tell me all about their life cycle. And they passed down to me this love of nature. So in searching for cicadas, I really wanted to capture that passing down of a love of nature from one generation to the next. And I know that adults and children have really been enjoying searching for cicadas and that adults in, enjoy it because they're quite nostalgic about cicadas in their childhood, just like I, I am. And they would have passed down that love to their children. I'll show you one of my favourite illustrations. It's this one. It really reminds me of my, grandma, my grandmother's garden and lying underneath the jacaranda tree and looking up and watching all those cicadas buzzing around. So thank you so much to the Royal Zoological Society of New South Wales for this wonderful award. I'm truly honoured. Thank you.